Suppose you are hired for a job that pays $55,000 the first year with an annual pay increase of 6%. How much money would you earn over the first five years at this job? This is a geometric series because although we're adding something every term where it's an increase, we're adding a, a percent and that percent is based on the previous term and since the terms grow every time um, six percent of the first term is less than six percent of the next term so what we're doing is we're multiplying by a constant ratio so that's geometric arithmetic would be where we would add say six thousand dollars a constant number every time but we're multiplying and that ratio is the hundred percent plus the 6% on top of that. So the ratio is not just 6%, the ratio is actually 106%. And then as a decimal, that would be 1.06. So that equals our R. Multiply 55,000 by 1.06, and you'll get your salary for the second term or the second year. So now let's talk about the uh, formula for the sum of n geometric terms. So s sub n, just the, the general form, equals the first term, a sub 1, minus the first term multiplied by that ratio to the nth power. In our case, it's going to be to the fifth power because there are five years, all divided by 1 minus r, 1 minus the ratio. n n equals 5, 5 years. Uh, r, we already found, is 1.06. And a sub 1 is the 55,000. That's the first year. So let's plug this stuff in. Now, s sub 5, that is the sum of the first five terms, equals 55,000 minus 55,000 multiplied by 1.06 to the fifth power. We're going to do uh, exponents before the multiplication. So this is all divided by 1 minus 1.06. So we do this exponents first. So in, in terms of just plugging the numbers in, that's actually not that complicated, but it's it's actually easy to get tripped up by just uh, forgetting some of the basics like order of operations. So we know we do exponents before multiplication. So let's show that. I'll write uh, the sum of the first five terms equals this 55,000 minus 55,000 times, now this 1.06 to the fifth power, that's 1.33822, and I've rounded there. I've held on to a, a good number of decimal places just so we don't have rounding error at the end and then 1 minus 1.06 1 is negative 0 0.06 now again in the numerator multiplication before subtraction always multiply before addition or subtraction um, it's another thing that y you probably know this uh, but when you're running through a problem it's easy to just make a mistake so so pay attention to that stuff and I'm gonna just write out that final answer we've simplified the multiplication and then subtract and that gives you I'll tell you what I'll write out this next step just just to make sure you can check it on your own when uh, you know check what you get against what I have written here 73,602 point four zero six eight all divided by this negative point zero six. Oh by the way this seventy three thousand six hundred two that would actually be your salary on the fifth year. Uh, but so you could think of it as the fifth term in the geometric sequence. But for the series when we are adding all of these we need to complete this and I'm just gonna change the colors here and write this answer we subtract in the numerator and then divide. So you have a negative divided by a negative, and you get over the course of the first five years three hundred ten thousand dollars, three hundred ten three hundred ten thousand and forty 
dollars. So not quite a professional sports uh, salary contract, but still pretty good.